So thank you for joining me. So to begin, I'd like you to find a nice, comfortable position, whether that's laying down or sitting with your palms facing up on your knees. And let your eyes just begin to drift closed. Lift up your shoulders and place them back down, more relaxed than before. Move your head from side to side, taking the pressure off of your neck. Release any tension from between your eyebrows and let go of your jaw. And as you take a nice, deep, purposeful breath, I want you to imagine a ball of light form at the top of your crown. It then penetrates through the top of your head and works its way down your body. This is a ball of relaxation and calm. Give all your stress and worry to the ball of light as it flows down through your neck, your chest and back, down your arms to your fingertips, over your abdomen. This light can be any color you wish as it absorbs all that no longer serves you, takes your fear, anger, pain, stress, until the ball of light works its way all the way down and out the bottom of your feet. And then it buries itself deep into the earth below. Take a nice, deep, soothing breath and exhale completely. I want you to imagine a large door appear in the room you are in, or if you are outside, it appears next to you. Your higher self walks over to the door and you turn the handle. The door creaks open And on the other side is a beautiful forest dressed in four colors. Leaves scatter the floor. A light breeze crosses your face. There is magic in the air. And as you walk through the forest, you see a black cat sitting on a log not far in front of you. The cat is gently swishing its tail. You are completely aware that Thackeray Binks the cat will be your humble guide for this journey. Thackeray greets you by rubbing against your legs. You thank him for guiding you and he telepathically tells you to follow him. As you make your way through the forest, can hear the leaves crackle beneath your feet, the sounds of birds, an owl, and you see ahead of you is a road, and beyond the road is the Sanderson house in all its glory. Keep walking until you get to the front door. You see in the window that it's now a gift shop inside. And Thackeray jumps onto the windowsill and meows. You try the handle and the door opens. Thackeray jumps down and enters and you follow behind. The shop is completely empty and quiet. There are cobwebs and cauldrons, candles and spell books. You look intrigued. And 
as you're looking around, you come across a candle that's lit with a black flame. The flame flickers in your eyes and Thackeray telepathically tells you to hide. You hide behind the counter and the front door swings open and you hear Winifred, Sarah and Mary laughing loudly as they enter. They take a deep breath and exhale loudly. The sisters explore around. Sarah is dancing. Winifred finds her book and is caressing the glass. Mary is curious by potions and trinkets. Winifred sniffs the air and smiles to herself. She asks you to come out from behind the counter. You oblige and are in the presence of the three witches. Thackeray jumps on the counter in front of you and sits calmly swishing his tail. Winifred greets the cat. Sarah takes your hand and guides you. She sits you in the chair in the middle of the room. Thackeray Binks comes to sit at your feet and Winifred asks you telepathically, tell me why you are snooping around my house. Are you a witch or a wizard looking to join us? You tell her that you are and she responds, well, let's see how powerful you are. The witches join hands and deeply inhale, sucking in energy. They deeply exhale and look intrigued. They say, oh, you are a powerful one. Come join us. The three sisters begin to circle you and chant as they go. You begin to fill with a beautiful white light they smile as they circle and chant. You are completely relaxed. Thackeray tells you you have nothing to fear. The witches are here to fill you with power and strength. You are aware that they are filling you with a powerful light, removing any negativity. All of a sudden, the light dissipates and they stop. You thank them humbly for their work. They ask you to stand and they link arms with you. Thackeray leads you out of the house and down the path. Suddenly, the witches stop at the sight of the road. You step onto it with Thackeray to show them that everything is okay. Sarah gingerly puts her foot out to check and Winifred pushes her. Sarah closes her eyes and then looks relieved when she is okay. You all continue walking down the road. The car slowly drives past and they look at you completely baffled. You reassure them. You keep going. And you eventually arrive outside the town hall. 
you see a lot of people in costume entering the building. The four of you and Thackeray enter. The whole town is here. Costumes galore and a band of skeletons are jamming out on stage. All of a sudden, you see the witches appear on stage. Winifred is holding the mic. They begin to sing to the crowd, as if placing you and everyone into a trance as you flow and move to their song. You feel all your muscles release. Your overthinking calms down and your heart rate slows. You're totally present, totally conscious and completely at peace. And you allow any messages from your subconscious to flow to you now. You come back to the sound of my voice and know that it's time to bring your journey to an end. As you come out of your dance, you have now appeared in the cemetery of Salem. The three witches are in a circle with you holding your hands. They each smile and wish you well. You thank them for their guidance and energy. Mary then slowly begins to turn into a magical light and calmly disappears. Sarah then begins to glow and light pours out of her. She then calmly disappears. Finally, Winifred beams at you her wonderful smile. And then in a sudden blast of light, she's gone. Thackeray is sitting at your feet and tells you to follow him back to the wooden door that appeared behind you. You thank him graciously and turn the handle. On the other side of the door is the room or place in which you left your physical body. You return yourself back and become aware of the sounds and smells around you. Beat in your chest. You're breathing. Put some energy back into your muscles. Just begin to wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers. 
then all at once give every muscle in your body a really good squeeze and release and let go. If you're in a seated position, just bring your hands together at your chest in prayer and let your thumbs rest directly on the center of your sternum so you can feel your heartbeat. And if you're laying down, just bring your hands to rest on your heart center so you can feel your heartbeat. And we'll close with two nice cleansing breaths together. Take a nice big inhale. And let it go. And one more. Let it go. And open your eyes and smile. Namaste. Thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.